I was asked to make an analysis video of uh, two skiers that I know, I know this is MC, this is JS. Uh, JS has worked at Threadbow um, in the past. We don't know each other that well, but we, but we know each other. I've worked with MC quite a bit in New Zealand with the Rookie Academy, and they made a really cool video of them talking about short turns. In the whole video, there's three of them, another guy named Guy, and they're talking about just working on short, short turns and, and the struggles with it. And I commented and I said, I like MC skiing in this video uh, more. Like, I'm, like I enjoy the turns more. And that's not to say JS is not a great skier, um, but this video is about why I am pre appreciating what uh, MC is doing. And um, and yeah, and JS, like, if you if you're interested, here's some thoughts on just what I see and maybe what you would change. I'll let the video just play for a second to just show you that they're doing different short turns. Uh, worse and worse, and so much shorter I find that, um, uh, rhythm JS is doing, at this, and longer rhythm MC is doing. So even when you sort of sync them up, so back here, sort of edge set, similar time, you can see JS is already finishing his his next turn before him, and uh, like MC's just coming into finishing it now. So definitely a different rhythm, um, but I still think what I talk about here, JS could incorporate and perhaps make um, some some more impressive, more fluid short turns. So the first thing I would say that that stands out to my eye, okay, um, is is this completion phase. What I see here is like JS's upper body mass is sort of like still continuing to drop down against like in this direction where it's come from from the previous turn and it hasn't been like he hasn't caught his upper body with the redirection caught it and sent it this way the legs catch and go that way but you see like his body keeps going if i go in these these frames here his body keeps going down, down, down. Okay, so there's like a mismatch of timing. The legs are already kind of going up and and across, finishing this turn, and the upper body is still coming down. There's like another impact. And then so then you, you get this like bounce up effect where he's like a lot off the snow and his body has gone from being really compressed to sort of stretching out and he has to wait, 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 and then becomes again late on the edges back down again and here's that this is what what I see is sort of upper body compressing down behind the feet instead of waiting like being a bit more resistant waiting for a direction change and the mass to move a little bit this way then the legs make this movement to um, help the transition so if we go up to MC uh, something I like if we just sync up like two turns here okay is see how like MC you can even see the snow there's this lovely like gradual build up and her center of mass see it's this moment here MC's center of mass goes from this direction to this direction before she sort of really flexes the legs so they're the knees hips ankles flex a lot to help the transition finish but it's timing wise a little bit boom boom there you go you can see the redirect of the upper body so upper body has been going like in this direction ready and then now catches with the feet goes in this direction then this starts moving okay whereas JS body is going in this direction going 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 feet catch go upper body still coming down 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 squashed so it's like complete opposite kind of timing which uh spits him up okay now the other thing i would say that that stood out to me that i liked and mc i know has worked on this because we we got some coaching from 
Takao Mariyama is, is allowing the pelvis to be a little bit squarer, so not as counted in the turn, so facing more the direction of where the ski tips are, and she talks about it in the video, and that allows her to develop this uh, alignment of her leg, outside leg at the start of the turn, whereas JS, at a similar moment, can't do that. So because of how he finished, his pelvis is a little bit more counted or caught behind, and so his leg is rotated out this way, and there's more just a rotation of the whole entire leg. So whole entire leg is one, instead of MC is able to rotate the upper thigh, but allow the skis to track out wider to make a, like a, a, a more uh, round, loopier short turn. Okay, and then that puts her in a better position here where the forces build to get her mass, which has been upper body mass, been traveling in this direction to catch against the feet get sent in this direction and then allow the legs to flex. So you can see it, catch, catch, mass is redirecting, redirecting, and then now you see the legs come through. JS, mass is still coming down, legs are flexing up, but he's still coming down with a heap of this uh, upper body. So you have to be way stronger if you ski like JS. You don't have to be as strong because your timing is a little bit better with MC. And look at this, if I just go back and forth, hopefully, I mean, other people appreciate this smooth transition right here versus this kind of abrupt compressing down and squashing yourself, popping back up. Okay. I'll finish finally by saying, again, both good skiers, JS is uh, like very exciting to watch in the bumps and he's very athletic and so he can utilize that to his advantage. But I would say it would be interesting if he could take a little bit of what MC is doing here with the, the fluidity and even just the way the snow looks like through that turn. Like you pause here and you see this lovely like plume being developed like that as opposed to just this big explosion in one one point. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I hope people enjoyed that. I really hope I haven't uh, <laughs> offended anyone. Here's a better turn that JS makes, by the way, right here. So this one, he's got the timing. The mass redirects, see? Mass is, upper body mass has gone from here a little bit across. Then the legs come up underneath. But still, there's a little bit of a pop up because this is just too forcefully trying to come down and hammer the edges here instead of ride the edges get the center mass deflected and then get the legs to to move into the next turn all right hope everyone enjoyed that thanks